Hey guys, okay, I tried to do a live earlier and it didn't work out, which means I guess that's the universe way of telling me that my topic wasn't on point. So I'm going to try it again. <laughs> so I was reading this article in XO Nicole about um, opportunists and how to um, figure out when an opportunist when a person is an opportunist, it was like six ways to determine that somebody is an opportunist, right? And so it talked about people who use flattery, right? And how those people use flattery are opportunists and uh, people who try too hard to make the relationship something that it's not too quickly, you know, like they don't take their time to actually grow or cultivate the relationship. And so it said all kinds of ways that people are opportunists. And one of the things that it did not address, which I hear a lot, is drama. OK, people use their drama as an opportunity to break down your emotional walls to try to get something from you. OK, it is it is absolutely emotional blackmail it is absolutely an opportunity for them to figure out how to wiggle their ways in so let's talk about this these drama 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 stories i don't can't tell you how many people come in my inbox with these sob stories and you know all of the drama that's happening in your life well first of all okay people got enough drama in their own life and they don't need you in their inbox drowning them in your your shit okay nobody fucking needs that okay Nobody needs that, all right? People are dealing with so many of their own heartaches and hurts and disappointments and struggles in life. So what makes you feel like it's okay to go to somebody's inbox and dump yours on them so that you can get an opportunity? Nobody, say the drama for your mama. Nobody need that. Okay, so here's some of the things that I get. The fucking sob stories in my inbox. You know, my dog died and my kid got a cold and my boyfriend ain't shit and my car just died and I'm living in a shelter. But if you'll give me a scholarship, okay, if you'll give me a scholarship to your academy, I feel like I can make things turn around. Well, first of all, if you're in the shelter, you got other shit you need to be focused on besides getting in my academy. Okay? So that's a, that's number one. Number two, <laughs> if you ain't got this shit done, if you got a laptop to get in the academy, you need to pawn that motherfucker. As my grandma used to say, you need to hawk that motherfucker. Okay? So you can afford how to get your car fixed in an apartment bag. Okay? All right? So here's the thing. I understand that sometimes people just want an opportunity, okay? I understand sometimes people just want an opportunity, right? But earn the freaking opportunity. Ask me how you can earn it. Ask me how you can earn the opportunity. Nobody owes you shit, okay? Nobody owes you anything. This world don't give two fucks about you, okay? It don't. Is a it's disrespectful to us all, <laughs> okay? But you have to earn the opportunity, okay, for me to care. It doesn't just show up and it doesn't just happen, okay? People always in my inbox, can you donate to me? Can you go fund me? Okay, so let me get rid of the go fund me, okay, and do a go earn me. Go get a job. I'm not finna... Pay money for your bills. I'm not going to pay money for your light bill and your gas bill. Not when you can sit somewhere and take those skills that you learned to put up a GoFundMe page. Well, shit, charge people to put up a GoFundMe and make some money off of that. Okay? Stop looking to use your story as a sob story as a, as, as a, to get handouts. Stop using it to manipulate. Because here's one of the things that pisses me off more than anything, right? You can spend all of this time and energy, okay, to go from inbox to inbox to inbox to tell people what's going on with you, okay? And you are not looking for a way to fix it. That same energy, keep that same energy in terms of finding the way to pay your way, okay? 
So these are things that people... So first of all, I don't give out handouts. Second of all, I'm not giving out scholarships. If you ain't spend no money with me, why would I invest in you? And it's not that I'm all about the money. It's about the fact that I believe that you're going to deliver. If I give you something, I know that you're going to take it and deliver. But how do I know that? Because you've already invested. I can see your hunger. I can see how bad you want it. So because I can see how bad you want it, if you spent money with me, you went and found the money the first time, then I'm going to help you the second time. I'm here to meet you halfway, not come pick you up, put you on my back, and carry you across the finish line. That's not how any of this works. Okay? And then I had one girl that was like, well, can you, you know, this, this, can you give me a discount? I just need a discount because this money is coming out of my household. Okay, but if I give you a discount, that means this is money that's coming out of my household, right? If I give you a discount, the money is coming out of my household. So now you're basically saying that your household is more important than my household. Houston, we have a problem. Okay? Houston, we have a problem. All right? So I want you to stop using, and I want y'all to pass this around and share this with people. OK, and the next time somebody come in your inbox, don't feel bad about hurting their feelings and sharing the link to this video. OK, don't feel I'm going to put this on my YouTube so you can share the link to this video. OK, don't feel bad about sending them a link to this video, because at the end of the day, if you're not trying to earn it, you don't deserve it. If you're not willing to earn it, you don't deserve it. So don't come in my inbox with all this drama. Don't come in my inbox telling me no sob story, okay? You get nothing, okay? In the words of Biggest Miles, you get nothing, okay? So that's my word for the day. I'm going to get out of here and uh, get back to the work I got to work on. And I'm going to catch up with you guys on the flip side. Mwah.